Hello there, Jackson here. Welcome to the channel. Nice to have you as always. Social proof, eh? Hmm. Well, long gone are the days when a website was just like a nice to have, a brochure, a calling card. I mean, I remember building my first sites for clients nearly 20 years ago, and just to have a website, they were just ecstatic about it. But no more. Yes, in this day and age, your website or the websites you're building for your clients have to be lead generating machines. They have to do some work for the business. And the sites you build for yourself or for your clients, they will do that, right? You know what I'm talking about. Things like you're driving loads of traffic to the site. You've got slick user journey and user experience. You've got fabulous landing pages with the most amazing copy to drive sales and to drive conversions. Yeah, you've got all that. Good. What about social proof? Know what I mean? You know, things like testimonials, customer reviews from actual customer review sites like, you know, Google reviews or Facebook reviews, Yelp and things like that. Have you got your social feeds on your website, you know, to show how vibrant and engaged you are with your potential customers on the interwebs in general? Maybe you've got a way to communicate live on your site, you know, a chat widget so that you're proving that you're ready to serve and can answer questions super quickly and easily when the user needs to. Well, that's kind of social proof. And those sort of things will take your current lead generating machine to the very next level. And I'm going to share with you some stats that will make you wish you've been including social proof a very, very long time ago. And no surprises, I've got a plugin for you that can help automate and handle all of this stuff for you. Shall we get stuck in? Right then, this is the uh, plugin we're talking about, WP Social Ninja. Free plugin on the repo, and I've got to be honest, the free plugin does pretty much everything the pro does. Obviously, usual stuff. The pro has got extra features. But there's not much you can't not do with the free version. And yeah, it's got all the spiel here. Well, there's a bit of social proof for you. 4.8 out of 5 stars. Very highly rated. And I do actually think it's a very, very, very good plugin. Right, let's go over to their website so we can have a look at their blurb. And before we get super stuck in, let's just take a look at those stats I was talking about. So according to the Spiegel Research Center, this is a university or part of a university in the States, whose main focus is to do evidence-based data-driven analysis to prove the relationship between customer engagement and purchase behavior. So this is scientific, folks. This is proper scientific. And it's saying that just by adding reviews to a product page, you can increase conversions by 270%. Go get some reviews on your page. And another study, 34% uplift in conversions when there's testimonials on a page. Not bad, eh? And 80% of shoppers prefer user-generated content i.e. reviews and testimonials, 2.4, well, they consider it 2.4 times more authentic than the best copy or landing page or imagery you've got, you know, so that's quite a thing. Also, one little last fun fact, ratings between 4.2 and 4.7 stars convert better than those with a perfect five-star score as they are perceived to be more believable by consumers. I get that. I'm always a bit suspect when it's like, oh, you've got all five stars. How's that possible? Anyway, good to know. This is why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back to our uh, plugin, see what sort of things we can do to get our social proof rocking. So, yeah, we can display social feeds. Mention that. We can get those review feeds in from your Google reviews, from your Airbnb, your Facebook, all that sort of stuff. And we can add chat widgets, which means we can really show that we are ready to serve by allowing our users, our potential customers to contact us with whatever messaging app we like, you know, it could be a few, and it really does show them that we're up for engagement. Very, very important. Okay, let's have a look at the first one, embedding customer reviews. Now, this is the big one. I mean, this really is the big one. Spiegel says it all with the, um, you know, 270% increase. And it's really absolutely dead simple to get that done with this, this particular social proof plugin. Of course, all the spiel there increases engagement, boosts social diversity, SEO benefits and improved com conversions. Well, this is why we're here. Uh, and we got Google, we've got Airbnb, Facebook, Booking, WooCommerce, which is very cool. So if you've got a WooCommerce store, you can actually start displaying those 
reviews that you've already got all across your website. Very neat. And some other ones, Yelp, TripAdvisor, AliExpress, etc. The other great one here is Fluent Forms reviews. Now, Fluent Forms is a plugin. I've done a few tutorials on that. Great plugin, free plugin, pro obviously as well, goes with it. And what this means is if you don't have, you know, Google reviews or anything to suck in reviews from, you can actually plonk a review form on your website and ask your customers and clients to please leave you a review. And then you can automatically display those as well. That I think is very powerful. Plus a bonus ball is if you incorporate that with something like Fluent CRM, if you get like a bad review, you can do a little uh, customer relationship management by putting them in a little funnel that gets your customer service team to actually contact them directly, maybe offer them some sort of discount for the displeasure they've had with your product, etc. I mean, it's, it's pretty endless, that kind of stuff. And it's really an absolute doddle to set it up. I mean, it's all really sort of like, you know, drag and drop, point and click kind of thing. And of course, you can choose to filter the reviews for those 4.5s or 4.3s or above. And of course, you can style the templates and, you know, that kind of thing, which is kind of to be expected. Great feature of this is that you can set the refresh rate. So it will go and drag the reviews in and kind of store them in the site, which is very cool because it's not kind of hitting some API all the time to get like a live set of your reviews like you would go to Trustpilot and get a Trustpilot widget and put it on your site. It's not that. It's actually dragging them in, holding them there. And at specific times you can get, or you can tell the plugin in the settings to go get them every six hours or what have you. If you've already got reviews, you can import them from somewhere else as a CSV, what have you. It's really simple, but super powerful, easy to use plugin. Yes, indeed. Some other features there. To be fair, most of that you kind of would be expecting. You know, templates, layouts, filtering. That's quite good though. The schema uh, snippet for wherever they appear. So they appear on Google as actual reviews. When it gets crawled, responsiveness and all that sort of stuff. Oh, look, here's a few reviews for the plugin. Can I catch my drift now? Yes. Let's go and have a look at some of the templates for the reviews. Got them here. So this is, for example, Google reviews. They're all pretty much the same. They have different templates, different styles. Got a few different things I want to show you in a little bit. If we preview the template, you kind of get the, the gist. You can have it, you know, sliders, masonry, just the badge. So you put that somewhere and when you click on it, you get this nice little sidebar open up. Obviously, this is kind of like a pop up. So this would be the whole page normally. You can choose to show and hide the sort of want to write a review, that kind of thing. There's load more, all of that. And another good feature is that the all-in-one reviews will take all of your different review platforms and put them all into the one display. So you're getting all that social proof from all over the web, wherever you are, including the stuff that you might have for your own manual or user-generated reviews with, uh, say, the Fluent Form, etc. Yeah, and there is another little feature, which is, where is it? The notification pop-up. Now you've seen these things. I mean, they can be a little annoying, but they do work as social proof. Not everywhere, uh, specifically when you're on, a, say, a sales page or a checkout page. You see, that's a little fella there. Down there, you see, he's popped up saying some info on a review, or you sometimes see it for, the, oh, blah, blah, just bought something. You know, I normally ignore those things because that's just my in my nature, but they actually do work. And with Social Ninja, we can pop it open and see the reviews. And again, remember what our good friends over at the Spiegel Center said, reviews sell products. You've also got loads of options here, like you can choose not, you can choose not to click to the actual review site, or you can, or you can only show certain review types, you know, as in how many stars. I mean, there's literally tons of, too many options to get through in this short presentation. And of course, you wouldn't have this everywhere on the site. You'd only have it on sales pages or maybe a checkout page. And of course, those settings are all available in there. So yeah, super, super easy way to get your reviews from your review platform or your own manually received reviews. And also you can set up the form and have then have that all automated for you as well. Nice reviews done. Next up, what have we got? We've got the social feeds. Now, social feeds are just a brilliant way of showing the interwebs, your users, your potential customers, 
exactly how vibrant your brand is. It's like, you know, look here, we're here, look at our socials, we're all over the place. And look at the great posts we're doing and all our great imagery and all that sort of stuff. And again, with this sort of all in one social proof plugin is a breeze to kind of like get that sorted out and quite a few feeds to choose from instagram facebook feed youtube feed tiktok no twitter or x as they say now because elon doesn't like that sort of thing and it's a piece of cake to actually just set this up i'm not going to do any their documentation is and their video library on their youtube channel is second to none and it will show you how to do all this because I'm not. And there's too many features for me to show you everything. So yeah, it's it's just a brilliant way of exposing your brand, exposing the vitality and energy and the currentness of your brand to get your socials on there. Okay, so yeah, we can create the, the feeds easily. Obviously, multiple feeds, lots of customization tweaks you can do, etc. There's also this other feature to um, to actually turn your Instagram feed into a kind of link to go and buy the products that you might be promoting on Instagram. Stay with me for a sec. So say you've got a feed, and this is all within the, the, the feeds that you're putting on your website. You can start creating your feed and flag it to be an Instagram shoppable feed. And with that, there's a sort of buy it now or find out more button that appears on the feed in within your website for the Instagram feed, wherever that is. And remember, you can create as many feeds as you like, wherever you like. So it could be on a category archive page where you've got like a load of stuff on there it could be on a blog post it could be anywhere and so what happens is you put a, like an instagram feed in there and then you can say make this post a link to this product page but where i think it becomes really powerful is where you can tell wp social ninja to go look for hashtags you can then link those posts that have those hashtags with the same product page link which I think is, pr is, is pretty clever stuff because you're showing the vibrancy of your social media engagement on your website, but it also it's uh, another opportunity to sell that product that you're posting on your Insta. You get me? Okay, what else have we got? Well, I guess we need to talk about when we add things like social Im feed embeds into a website, it absolutely murders your site speed. Well, that used to be the case, and it still is the case with some plugins. But with WP Social Ninja, for me, this is probably like the standout feature. I know uh, we should be doing all social proof on our websites, etc. But this, this alone would sort of make me pick this over any other plugin. Because when you put a, a, a social feed plugin on your website, it kills it. Speed-wise, forget about it. Don't even bother going to PageSpeed Insights because it's pulling in so much stuff from those social platforms. Images, not optimized, blah, blah, blah. So much baggage and other code, external code. You know, it's 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 a disaster, you know. But with uh, WP Social Ninja, it actually optimizes the performance. It actually creates cached images and other sort of data in the site itself. So it's not constantly hitting that API for that social platform, which for me is just like, well, I wouldn't even be dealing with this if it didn't have some sort of real proper way to ensure that by getting this content in, it's not going to completely kill my site. Good stuff. Oh, and yeah, GDPR compliant. Absolutely. It's going to be hitting other platforms, APIs, and bringing in data that has got nothing to do with your website, technically speaking. So there is a consent option there as well, which I think is absolutely genius. And yeah, SEO strategy. Of course, your site's getting crawled and more content juice is being supplied to all the search engines, which is all rather jolly. And this is another killer feature, in my humble opinion because it's using this sort of caching system for these social feeds and it's not hitting the API every time someone hits a page, it goes, go and get, go get, get the stuff. It's actually sort of got its own sort of system for keeping that data, images and stuff like that within the site, which means if the platform goes down or there's an interruption in the API or some weirdness or whatever happens, your social feeds don't get interrupted. And the bonus ball is that if, they, if there is an interruption in that service from that social platform, it's gonna send you an email come on that's absolutely mega now there was a couple of features on these social feeds that i did actually quite like outside of what you would expect to have as features i.e you know templates and advanced filters for what you want to show in whichever feed and you know carousel and stuff like that regular stuff multi, you know uh, multilingual and responsive which is open posts in 
So if we actually go back to our little demo, where's our Insta feed? Because what you want, if you're going to put your social feeds on your website, what you don't want is for lots of people to see them on the website, go to Insta or go to Facebook and go down that rabbit hole. That is not what you want. You want to keep them on your website. You want to keep them interested and potentially reaching out to you as a lead or a customer. So for example, that open post in option means that it's not going to, when you click on most social uh, feed plugins, when you click on it, it will take you to the platform, the social platform. With this option, I'll show you here with this Insta feed template. When you click on it, it doesn't take you to Instagram. It just pops up the, the post content. Absolutely exactly what you need. Of course, there's options to you know go and see it or view it on Instagram. But the idea that it's not immediately going to take you away to a different website when you've managed to get them on your website, that for me is an outstanding feature. There's also the other one was having a like and subscribe button on the actual, on your website. So they're not having to go to the other website to like and subscribe. Good stuff. So yeah, social feeds on your website, good stuff. Shows your brand is live, relevant and up to date and current. Good stuff. Okay, what's the other thing we were going to cover was social chat on your website. Now, this is not live chat like, say, they've got here. It's not, we're not talking about live chat. That's something completely different. We're talking about social chat where we are going to say to our cust potential customers or actual customers, do you know what? You can message me on WhatsApp. You can message me on Facebook or Slack or Telegram or there's dozens of them. Because if you are saying to your potential customers, look, I'm here for you. And don't get me wrong, a lot of businesses will go no way on this feature. But if you are genuinely in a, in a sales orientated environment, a support orientated environment, and you want people to reach out to you because you want their business or you want to make them happy, then this is a great feature. So what happens is, is you simply add any of these sort of messaging channels, as it were, including like email, including phone, actual phone, as widgets on your website. And this is probably the, the easiest one to set up because it's not actually integrated. We're not chatting on your website with WhatsApp or Messenger. It's just going to open up WhatsApp or Messenger or Slack or whatever on your channel, on your page, on your WhatsApp number. And that's where the conversations happen. So you're, you're giving the power of the conversation to the potential customer, client or member or whatever it is. So if we nip back and have a quick look at the demos here. So here we go, WhatsApp chat. Get one of these templates open and you see that there'll be a little WhatsApp icon in the corner. And when they click it, a little box pops up and you get to choose what it looks like, whose face is there, picture there, headline some text with a kind of like, you know, it's a texty messaging -y looking thing. And you click start and then it just opens up the user's WhatsApp with your number in it. And, you know, you, hopefully you've got a business account and it looks a bit pro and you start chatting. And it's literally, you put a number in it and you're done. Amazing way to show that you are willing to communicate. And of course you can, there's loads of settings like, let's get back to the actual plugin description. I think there's some info here. Yeah, so you can schedule times. So it only shows that, certain times your office hours for example you can even show a sort of estimated waiting time things like that and of course again it doesn't have to be on every page of your site this is not a sort of free-for-all here you'd have it on specific places like you know it's an event launch or an event purchase or a product purchase or a specific page that you want to offer this sort of like real personal service to I mean it's a real like I said it's an honest to goodness way of showing that folk that you care and are ready to communicate so yeah, that's the social chat aspect. We've spoke about the social feed show, to show that your brand is out there and vibrant and engaged with its audience. And then we have, the, of course, the killer, the reviews and testimonials all automated for you with the quite wonderful WP Social Ninja. Links, of course, are in the description to go and check out WP Social Ninja. Fabulous bit of kit that. Get your comments in below. And if you want a bit more WordPress marketing action, check out that video. But until next time, I shall see you later.